is the Dublin Special Master. Live and direct. Breakfast with Cup Trickstar Radio. What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to Breakfast with Kovu here on Trickstar Radio. It's very exciting to be back inside the building as we jump into another very exciting interview. We uh, take this opportunity on the show to talk to different artists and uh, kind of musical uh, people and figures around the world. And this is something I really like to do. And today we're getting into a conversation with someone I've got a lot of time for. She's, her new single is absolutely killing it right now. Uh, she goes by the name Ray Bell. How are you? How's things? I'm fine and everything is fine. Good. It's great to get you on the line. I've been looking forward to um, having this conversation. Obviously, um, I put a reaction video out there quite recently to um, one up to Miniskirt, which is obviously the big tune right now. Um, and I thought I'd hit you up about getting you involved in a conversation. So um, let's kind of do a bit of background <laughs> on yourself, first of all. So um, in regards to sort of making music and things like that, how long have you been kind of involved in, in this kind of process? Um, I'll say two years, since 2022 to date. Cool. So two years. So- yeah, when I was there when I was 16, and I was about to block 17 and all that. Nice, nice. So how have you found um, that journey I so think... far? <clears throat> it has been great. Like, everybody's welcoming the sound. Everybody loves what they are hearing. And I think that was, like, a great remark for me. And I feel really good about it. Awesome, awesome. Like, kind of um, looking through your sort of, um, I suppose, the last sort of few months, um, it seems like. It seems like there's been such a crazy um, kind of explosion in regards to reaction to your sound. Like, why do you think that is? Why do you think things are suddenly starting to blow up now? Um, I feel everybody, like, a lot of new people are discovering the sound. And they're like, wow, okay, she doesn't sound Nigerian. She sounds um, Jamaican. Most people are like, I don't sound like my country. I sound like I am from overseas and all that. Then whenever they listen to the sound, they seem to know like get enough of it. Everybody wants more. Everybody wants to explore. Everybody wants to know what is coming next. And I think they really appreciate the sound. And I'm happy they do because I was trying to like get in touch and connect to people through my song. Awesome, awesome. Like um, when you were kind of putting together, um, I suppose the run of songs prior to uh, Miniskirt, how did you find that sort of process? Um, I suppose of jumping into the studio, actually recording, like did you take to it quite naturally? Um, Miniscape actually came as a freestyle. I, I did that freestyle 2019 slash 20. I was um, 16. So yeah, it was just like my feelings being thought out. Like, I just wanted to like, put out something that everybody could connect to. Miniscape doesn't just have to do with a sketch. That's to your feelings, like what the society wants you to be. You're trying to, con- you're trying to be what everybody wants to see. But then you realize you don't fit in. So you just like do it your own way and be rebellious. <laughs> No, Sounds like that. A hundred percent. I mean, that's a message that I feel a lot of people must have connected with um, quite quickly. Yeah, a lot of girls, like a lot of young girls are like, oh, I'm, when I check my DMs, I'm like, oh, I'm looking up to you. Thank you. I've actually changed my life. I'm like, oh, okay. Like the message <laughs> is actually going across. Like everybody's getting what I'm trying to say and I'm actually happy they can connect to what I'm saying because me thinking and you know, understand what I'm doing or the kind of message I'm trying to pass is like just off times. I think like, get what i actually wanted i didn't like achieve the goal but now girls are like oh thank you for the song like people are actually telling me thank you for creating the music and i'm like oh, really so i'm actually happy about all the reactions i'm getting awesome awesome i mean it's really cool to see obviously the track itself um is a banger it is blowing up we're seeing it um getting a ton of support when you i suppose finished this tune um in the sort of studio setting the, the kind of remake of it obviously um when you finished um and you were there to kind of put it out and put it into the kind of public domain did you expect um this kind of mad wave of reaction that, that we've been seeing when i actually finished recording it when i first got to the studio when the guy actually had me like sing a line for me, the guy was like, oh, how old are you? I was like, oh, I'm 17. I was like, really? So I was like, I was cool with it. Then when the song actually came out, like when I finished recording, I was like, I didn't feel it. I was like, maybe it was not enough. And my manager was like, girl, this thing is fire. Everybody I was like, this is fire and all that. But I felt like, I could, okay, I was like, I felt like I could do more, but I didn't know it was actually a complete song already. It had already done its work itself. And when it was coming out, it was just like, I believe everybody's going to love this music because my manager actually knows good music and I, be, I just felt like this is one of the best and this is actually the best at the moment because everybody is showing great love even the even ones giving bad um, options and even ones dropping bad comments are actually 
encouraging me to actually want to do more. So like with the kind of love I'm getting, but like my song is like airing on different stations, um, TV stations and radio stations, and even at parties and clubs. So I'm like, oh okay, this is this is actually a good turn on. Like this is a good remark I'm getting for a starter. Do you get? 100%, 100%. And it's crazy kind of looking through all the responses. Obviously, I tend to look online. I tend to see what people are saying um, about a lot of different songs. And I keep saying your ne- seeing your name crop up. And it's really, really cool to see. Um, obviously, off the back of the single being released and all the support you've been getting, as you said, you've been getting the sort of TV and radio support. It's been awesome to see. Um, something that kind of followed that um, is obviously the uh, the actual video for it. Obviously, linking up with T.G. Amore, one of the kind of dons, I suppose, of, uh, of the sort of video world right now. How was that as a process? Because the video, it looked fantastic i've got to say so i think um my manager actually dm'd him for like the process of him coming to shoot the video and all that and when he actually had the song he fell in love like instantly with the song and he was like nah i'm in like i'm in i want to actually be in this team i want to feel it because this person actually has the full potential so everything just came out as all i a very talented person working with another talented visual like someone that can actually create Back to my mind, it's one of the best videos, and nobody can actually deny that it's one of the best. No, 100%. I think, I think, um, and, and from kind of like a direction point of view, um, something I did want to ask is when you're in that sort of creative environment, um, did you get involved much with the sort of direction of the video, or did you just kind of go, you know what, TG, it's over, it's over to you, this is your world? Like, firstly, I already expressed myself. <laughs> So and he could like actually feel what the storyline was. So he, I allowed him to do his thing because even the producer actually allowed me to do my thing. So I just allowed him to do his own thing and it came out beautiful. Definitely. Yeah, no, it's, and it's, it's really cool to see. And obviously, um, kind of off the back of that, there's this whole thing. Obviously, your face is out there now. People are recognizing you. People kind of know who you are. Um, as a kind of, I, I suppose, one of the more rapidly rising up and coming artists in Nigeria right now, um, what's the buzz like? Because obviously, I'm based in the UK. The station we're on currently is based here in the UK. Um, what's the kind of buzz like over there? Because it seems like it's such a, an incredible place to be musically at the moment. The buzz is actually very great, like it is really, really great. And the fact that my own people are welcoming and accepting my sound is something I am proud of. And they seem to like really love it that they tell other people about it. It's like everyone's like like the acceptance has been amazing and really, really great for me and I'm really, really proud of everybody that's supporting and myself and my manager and everybody involved. 100% yeah it's, it's cool to see and obviously the uh, the kind of future is where we kind of look to now I'm very keen to kind of see what's on the way for yourself because obviously you've got um, this tune out there at the moment it's doing bits it's getting a lot of support it's getting a lot of attention but what everyone wants to know is obviously how you're going to follow that up so what's next uh, from Ray Bell what's next I have a lot of projects I'm working on um, EPs uh, an album I guess and but the one that's coming next is a single then an EP Okay, cool. So when can we, I suppose as fans, obviously you don't have to give away any dates. I know it's probably all hush-hush and kind of locked up at the moment. Um, but obviously from a fan's perspective, when do you think um, we can start to hear some new, uh, well, at least a new release from yourself in the future? Mm, in the coming months, I guess. Like, I don't want to disclose something. I know, not like people up to it. So in the coming months, because a lot is going to be coming. A lot of good songs are going to come in and everybody's going to be like, oh, wow, wow. Just like they did well to like mini sketch, yeah, something like awesome. that. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, it's been um, it's been great to catch you very briefly. Obviously, we wish you all the support uh, we possibly can moving forward with uh, mini so and the much. tracks that are on the way. Um, it's great to it's great to get you on the line, and we'll chat again soon. Okay. Okay. There we go then, people. Keep it locked and don't go anywhere. We are live on Trickstar Radio. A massive shout out to Ray Bell for joining us. We're going to jump into the sounds of that brand new single mini skirt next. Keep it locked and don't go anywhere. This is Breakfast with Kovu, bringing you their morning flavors on Trickstar Radio. Trickstar Radio.